Hey guys, this is TNOC, and today we will be doing a field test. In today's episode, we will be discussing cluster bombs. My titanium orchid, the rocket launcher I got from Iron Banner, came with tracking and cluster bombs. Rockets create cluster bombs when they detonate. So what does that mean when it comes to damage increase from cluster bombs? How many clusters actually come out when a rocket explodes? What angle should I be shooting at? And just as a disclaimer, um, guys, breaking down this data was not easy, so my numbers could be a little bit skewed, but I'll, I'll go ahead and take you through my method. The first thing I needed to know is how many cluster bombs come out when a rocket explodes. I shot from a high ledge and slowed down the footage. You can see that we are getting 8 rockets. Also, interesting fact, the angle that you hit the target affects the trajectory of the cluster bombs. Like in this shot, hitting a flat surface at an 80 degree angle caused the clusters to group up closer together. Let's go over damage percent increase you can get from cluster bombs. I needed a test dummy so I loaded the dreadnought and made my way to the ultra knight. The first shot will represent the base damage of this rocket launcher without cluster bombs. Now if we look closer we can see that we are getting a damage output of 9787. I shot my rocket two more times to make sure my number was accurate and all rockets hit for 9787. So I'm assuming that this knight has about 30,000 hit points, and let me show you guys how I came to that conclusion. If you add all three rockets together, you can see that we are getting a damage output of 29,361. And he's almost dead, so let's just say he has like 650 health left. Now let's try the same test with cluster bombs. Now the first two numbers that appear equal 2,996, but after that, as you can see, there is a ton of numbers and I will attempt to break this down for you. The first initial damage comes from four numbers, the first showing up on impact and the other two appearing a millisecond after, those numbers representing the damage from the rocket explosion. About a half second later, we can see the damage from the cluster bombs. A cluster splash damage hits for 193, and we can see four of those, but a direct hit from the cluster bomb, the damage output is 1,379 per cluster, giving us a damage output of 16,313. Assuming that the knight's health is at 30,000 hit points, that should be a little bit over half, which it appears to be. Giving us a 40% damage increase, holy sh- Big girl. On the second attempt, the numbers were pretty much the same, except for one cluster that may have not been a direct hit. So, not much of a difference, with only one cluster hitting at 1250 instead of 1379. So now, knowing this information, at this point I had to know what is the perfect angle to maximize your damage. And guys, I've tried several times from various different angles. I tried shooting at his head, at his chest, shooting at his feet. There was also a shot where I shot him in the chest and it bounced straight off of him. The clusters did no damage. So, I didn't jump, I just aimed for his chest closer to his head, and as you can see, we're getting way over half of his health. If we compare the damage of this rocket to the first test, we can see that we are getting more damage. So in conclusion, if most of your clusters directly hit your target, you can get above 40% damage per rocket. But if the clusters miss your target, well then, you're pretty much getting about what you would get from a regular rocket. And I wanted to include a shot of the cluster bombs actually missing the target, and you, as you can see, it's not that much damage. So cluster bombs are great against large targets that don't really move that fast, like Valstar on the Mars Strike or a Siva Walker. But on smaller targets, and targets that are more agile, you can find yourself missing the damage from the cluster bombs. Now knowing the potential damage cluster bombs can add, I am definitely keeping this rocket. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you use cluster bombs? And if you do, do you see an increase in damage? 
please leave me a comment below. And as always, if you guys found this video interesting or informative, please smash that like button and hit subscribe. Stay positive. Tino C out.